I'm Laura Barlow and I'm a licensed veterinary technician with the oncology department here at Cornell. Pat Brennan, a licensed technician with the um, large animal hospital in the emergency and patient care section. And I'm Erin Berthelsen, I'm the clinical research coordinator here at Cornell. We would like to take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about what licensed veterinary technicians are. Um, a lot of people like to associate us with nurses. So what we are is very similar to what a nurse is to a doctor, we are to a veterinarian. We provide a lot of the nursing care and support for the veterinarian, and we do a lot of the treatments and help with the sample collections and diagnostics. Well, veterinary technicians are a very integral part of the veterinary team. Um, we can oversee most of all patient care. Um, we're here 24-7 in the hospital. There's someone, at least two people here on both sides of the hospital, uh, 365 days a year, 24-7 never a dull moment. And being a good veterinary technician, you don't only just need to love animals, but you also need to like working with people as well, because each animal does have a person attached with them that um, you need to talk with and go over um, like take home medications or treatments, anything like that. Um, so you gotta communicate with them about how they can help take care of their animal as well. What I personally love about my job is the fact that I do get to bond with the clients. Um, in the position I work with, I actually see a lot of these patients on a weekly basis, so I get to bond with them as well. My job is really fun. I get to do all the TLC, um, I get to do the loving and the um, support, and I'm really acting as a patient advocate. Um, so it really is a fun job. Uh, I am doing the catheter placements, the medications, um, I get to do all the cool stuff. <laughs> Same with large animal, being in the emergency section, we really get to be the, the jacks of all trades. Um, we'll see just about any, anything that walks in the door, uh, from your routine stuff to your most critical patients. We're working with the ICU patients, the isolation patients, as well as your routine post-op patients as well. So we get to see just about everything that does come in and work with them, as well as their clients, like Laura said as well. And that's definitely a rewarding thing. We do a lot of the discharging and that type of thing for all animals that we all hours of the day here at Cornell. My job is a little bit different. Um, I work with any research project going on in the hospital, if, um, or not just in the hospital, but the college as well as campus wide. I'll have researchers contacting me saying that they need a sample from a certain patient or an animal with a certain condition. And so it's my job to find those animals and communicate with the owner, see if they would like to donate hair, tissue, or blood, anything like that, um, for a certain research study. Or um, I can also communicate with the owners and doctors if their pet qualifies for a certain study, such as a cancer study or a certain type of a surgery that might be going on as well. The technicians are very passionate people, and I would say the ones here at Cornell are some of the best in the business. We get to be almost a family aspect, and you know we all work together very, very well. It's a great place to work as well. I would say that. Um, being a, a licensed veterinary technician, I think a lot of the public don't realize that we do go to college for this. Um, we do have to go to a veterinary accredited college. We graduate, we sit for a licensing exam, um, we have to maintain our licensure with CE credits, um, and then there's just so much that we do on a daily basis. And um, we all love animals, we all want them to have the best um, possible treatment and care while they're here with us. And that's really our goal, is to, to be um, the best that we can be and provide the best care that we can provide. And the nice thing about veterinary technicians too is just the range of animals that you do get to work with, not just one species, but you can work with dogs and cats as well as um, birds, reptiles, um, exotic, other type pocket pets, um, and large animals too, horses, cows, pigs, <laughs> we kind of cover it all.